guys, Caitlin here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review for you over my Sakura Bloom Scout Carrier. Now, I did an unboxing video on this a couple of weeks ago when I first got it and just kind of shared a very brief overview. But now that I've had it for several weeks and I've used it literally every single day, I want to do a more in-depth review showing you all the features and why I love it and my thoughts on it um, and how I use it and that kind of stuff. So let's get started. The first thing I want to just tell you up front, I love, love, love this carrier. I am absolutely so happy that I bought it. It has been fantastic. It is my favorite carrier out of every carrier I have ever used. And my oldest is seven. So I've been baby wearing for, over, you know, seven and a half years now. Um, and I, love this so very much. If you've seen any of my recent videos, you have seen me wearing this because I wear my baby in just about every single video I make so that I can keep him quiet and sleeping while I'm filming. Um, so yeah, this has definitely been a lifesaver for me as a mom of four and a homeschooling mom. I love it. So if you watched my unboxing video, I shared a little bit of the backstory, but I'll go ahead and share it here too in case you haven't seen that. But I am a homeschooling mom of four. I just had my fourth baby. Um, he is almost three months old. And um, when he was born or when I was pregnant with him, I was like, you know, I have been doing the baby wearing thing for years. I have multiple carriers. I, you know, I know what I like and I don't see the need to buy another one, right? I'm happy with what I have. I've tried lots over the years and I was happy with what I had. So I did not intend to get a new carrier. However, once he got here, um, I was realizing that the stretchy wrap that I, I do like stretchy wraps for newborns, but the stretchy wrap I was using, um, was fine if I was sitting down and, you know, we weren't like real active. If I was just sitting, you know, rocking in the rocking chair or something, that was fine. But if I tried to get up and move around a lot, it just wasn't supportive enough. And I knew as he got bigger, it certainly wouldn't be supportive enough. And my soft, soft structured carrier, which is a little baby, was, um, supportive, but super bulky. Like there were like, like, straps hanging down when I was trying to cook and when I sat down it was uncomfortable and I was like when I start homeschooling uh in a couple of months so this is back when he was first born and I knew we'd be starting back homeschooling in a couple of months I thought this is not going to work like I need to be up and down I need something that I can be comfortable sitting in and also still supportive when I'm up and about so that as I'm up and down with my older kids I can keep them in the carrier and you know, it's not like all up in my face because it's so big and bulky and you know, just all that kind of stuff. So I was reading in some mommy groups that I'm in and people kept recommending the Sakura Bloom. So I had heard of it as a ring sling, which I do not like ring slings. Um, I didn't know that they had other carriers. And so anyway, I started looking on their website and reading some reviews and it looked like it was going to be the perfect solution of um, not bulky and more comfortable to wear, however, still supportive enough that I would feel like he wasn't just like flopping all over the place or gonna fall out as I was trying to do stuff around the house. So anyway, that's what led me to purchase it. And I am so happy that I did. It has met my expectations and more so, and I'll share that as I'm doing the review, but I've been really, really happy with it. Um, so I'm going to get started and we're gonna check out all the features. Um, so let's do that first, okay? All right, so the first thing that's very unique about the Sakura Bloom Scout is that it has a waistband that has rings instead of a buckle. So all the other carriers that I've had that were soft structured carriers were buckle carriers. This one is not. So you can see the waistband is long and you thread it through the rings like so. All right, so it's kind of like ring sling meets soft structured carrier. So that, is, is your waistband and um, it is plenty long enough. I am in no means a petite person and it fits me just fine. The panel is pretty standard as far as a structured carrier goes. However, to cinch the panel in and make it smaller, there are these strings right here. And I love that because you don't have to have an in front insert. Um, it's not like bulky, like with my little baby, you could narrow it down, but you had to like fold the panel in over itself and do all these snaps and stuff. And with this, you don't have to. Now I'm wearing it 
backwards just to show you, but there's this little tie here. And right now the panel is completely pulled at its widest um, width there. But if you have a smaller baby, you can take this tie and you can cinch it in. Now this is like teeny tiny cinched in. Okay, so for my son, we do it not quite that small, but you cinch it to whatever works for your baby and then you tie it. And so it's very customizable, very easy to adjust. Um, just, just tie a knot and simply, oops, I shouldn't have tied it, but then it's done. Very easy. The leg openings are padded, not real bulky, but there is some padding there to make them comfortable for baby as they sit there. The straps are also padded. However, they are not huge and bulky like most carrier straps are. They're comfortably padded. However, let me show you the difference here. This is my little baby that I've used for many, many years. Here's the difference in the padding in the straps. Okay, you can see it is a huge difference. The Sakura Bloom Scout, it does have some padding so it's comfortable, but it is so much less bulky. When I would sit down with this thing on and have this huge strap here and it would come up in my face, I mean, it just felt like I was like this big balloon of fabric. I couldn't stand it. And so this is amazing, nice and thin. Some Sakura Bloom Scouts have leather on them. Okay, so now I have it on the way it would look correctly. Um, some of them do have leather on the straps and it is beautiful. It looks very trendy and classy and I love it. Um, I chose not to get the leather because I wasn't sure how um, soft and pliable it would be and if it would add bulk. And remember, I was looking very much to keep it as non-bulky as possible. So. For this one, I just got this, this is linen. They have different fabric choices. I just got the simple linen fabric um, without the leather, but you can get that as an option and it's very, very pretty. So to hold the straps together, there is a clip. Well, it's not a clip, a ring, um, but there's a strap here that goes, if you're wearing a baby on the front, it would go on your back. And if you're wearing a baby on your back, it would go right here across the front, just like your standard structure carriers do. However, instead of having a clip, or a buckle, it has rings. And I'll say, when I first started looking at the Sakura Bloom, I was, I liked the look of the rings. I feel like they're um, more streamlined and classier than just like big plastic buckles. However, I was concerned that that was going to make it more difficult to get the, the carrier on and off and that it would take more time. Honestly, it is a negligible amount of difference. It might take a second or two more to fasten this around my waist than a buckle carrier, but it's not much. And it's actually easier for me to put this on my back with the rings than I ever had when I was trying to buckle something on my back. So for me, the, the whole concern that I had about the rings being difficult was not a big deal at all. So, all right, I'm gonna put it on like it's on my back. All right, so I put it on as if I had it in back carry just so I can show you this, but the chest strap here connects underneath the straps, okay? So you don't see that when you're wearing it. It's much more of a streamlined look. It doesn't have all the little hooks and buckles and stuff. So it actually connects underneath and you can adjust up or down depending on your size and what is comfortable for you. So these are little snaps and then you can just thread them through whichever hole you prefer. I like mine here on the bottom. That is most comfortable to me. So um, I connect it there. And if you even wanted to reverse these, so you had the rings on this side and you had the strap on this side, maybe you are left-handed and you find that's easier for you to buckle, you can do that too because they snap on both sides. I let, It came like this and I left it like this. You can also get a longer strap if this is not big enough for you. It's plenty big enough for me. Um, and like I said, I'm not super petite. I'm larger. So um, I've not had any issues with it. But if you have like you know, a really broad shouldered husband, perhaps that wants to wear this or something, you can buy a longer strap separately. Um, but I have not had any problems with it not being big enough as far as for my body. It does come with a hood that is not attached when you purchase the carrier. Um, and so I have not used it because we just don't use the hood a lot, but there is a hood that's included. Um, so if you want to use it, you can. This was something that I was really happy about because I do not want 
the hood straps dangling down all the time. And I like that it's very easy to take on and off. It's really small, so I can just fold it up and put it at the bottom of my diaper bag. That way, if I do happen to be out and about somewhere and want the hood, I can use it, but it doesn't have to always be attached and it's not hard to get it on and off. So on the inside of the panel, there are these two little loops. You don't see them when you're wearing it because you're wearing it, it looks like this. So you don't see them, but they are right there. That is where you attach the hood. So the hood has the two long dangly straps, which is what um, you'll use to attach it to your carrier. And then these two short little straps here. So to put it on, you would just hook the hood straps through the carrier and attach the snap on either side and then your hood is ready to go while you're wearing baby, All right? And so then it would be like this. It's kind of tucked down in the panel there, and then you could use the hood if you want. So like I said, I don't use it, but it's there if I ever decide I need it. Really the only time I ever use a hood is if we are outside and baby has fallen asleep and I kind of want to shield him from the sun, then I would want to pull the hood up over his head. Or once I start wearing my kids back here, which right now he's not old enough, but when they fall asleep, their heads will kind of flop back. Sometimes I like to have the hood attached so I can use the straps of the hood to kind of pull their head back up. So really those are the only two times I use a hood. And so it's not something I want to attach to my, to my carrier all the time. Um, and so I'm just happy to leave it off until I need them. So overall, the carrier is very streamlined, very simple. There are not snaps everywhere. There are not buckles everywhere and like things dangling all over the place. Um, it's just a pretty um, simple streamlined carrier, but incredibly supportive and incredibly comfortable. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about how to use it. So unlike with most structured carriers where you put it on like this, okay? So most carriers, you flip it over like that and the waistband is flipped over and then you would attach like your buckle or whatever and then put the baby in. You wear this like an apron. So you will actually turn it upside down and put it on like this. So it's different if you're used to an Ergo, a Tula, a Lilla Baby, that kind of thing. All right, so you flip it over like this and then you just thread your tail of it through the rings, just like you would a ring sling. And again, so easy to do, um, not complicated at all. All right, so it's flipped upside down, it's attached. Now we get the baby. All right. Get your baby. Make sure the arm webbing is um, pulled almost all the way out. You wanna have a little bit of a tail here, but you don't want it to be super tight like this because with a Sakura Bloom, unlike most other structured carriers, you adjust with the arm webbing more so than you do um, like adjust it before. You adjust once baby is already in. All right, so gather it up and put baby in, okay? Put the straps over your shoulders. All right, so now to do the back, you this is why you want it really loose. You want to be able to reach over and adjust the rings over your shoulders. All right, so when I used to do carriers, I would always reach up like this to do my, my buckle. You can't do that with the rings. You need to be able to do it over your shoulder. So I'm gonna turn around and show you, but I just grab my strap in one hand, and when I turn around, I'll grab the buckle in the other hand. So let's reach here and connect like that. You don't want it to be super tight because you just want it to be um, tight enough to keep the strap from slipping off your shoulder. You're not trying to like tighten it really tight. Just So I just put it in a little bit. Then you're going to support baby's bottom here and hold, hold him with one hand, grab underneath with your other hand for those straps, okay? And you're going to, hold on, he's hanging on to it there. You're gonna actually like rotate over and around the strap, okay? And then you're gonna do the same on the other side. You're gonna grab underneath and you're gonna rotate over and around. That pulls this chest or back strap way down your back, 
where I could have never fastened it like if I had been trying, if I'd already had it in place, if I'd already had these in place, I would have never been able to fasten that. So that's why you keep these loose, you know, fasten it over your neck and then pull these. And so that that's right there. You want it kind of in between your shoulder blades so that it's good and comfortable. Um, but mostly just to keep these from slipping off. And then that's it. You've got baby fastened on to your body. The panel here can be pulled up or it can be kind of folded down. It's not super structured, so it can, it just kind of flops around and is up if you need it. But then you're done, you've got it. To take baby off, you just reverse. So I reach under here and hook my thumb into one of the little, whatever these things are called, and loosen it like that, holding on with the other hand so it doesn't just fall. And then I switch, still holding, supporting him, and use my thumb like this. So that drops him back down and that pulls the strap back up around my neck. And then I just do this one handed. I use my left hand and I just reach and grab it. Very easy to undo and then take him back out and I'm done with that. Okay, I went ahead and attached the hood while he was in the carrier so we could see what that looks like, but it's just attached on those loops I showed you earlier and I could just slip it up over his head if I wanted to. Now, um, there's not really like a place to attach the hood up here on your carrier. There's not a buckle or anything like that and that's the one thing that I don't care for in the Sakura Bloom Scout is that like, what am I supposed to do with these dangly things? I've seen people say they just tuck them underneath there, um, which seems like not a super elegant solution. I don't know. Um, like I said, I don't use the hood very often, so it's not a big deal. Right now, I just kind of have them dangling down my back. And, I mean, it's fine. If I were going to use it for just a few minutes, that would be fine. But I do wish that there was some sort of something, like maybe a discreet loop underneath that you could, that you could attach them to or something. But otherwise, I mean... It's not a big deal. I also want to show you real quick how I would back carry with the Sakura Bloom. Now, my baby is too small to back carry. He is not sitting independently yet. So I grabbed my almost three-year-old because the carrier is for seven to 45 pounds. So she is still within the weight limit of the carrier of the Sakura Bloom Scout. Um, there is a toddler size that has uh, been released, but we don't have that. We just have the regular size. So I have opened up the panel all the way since she's a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna show you. Now, some people like to Superman their kids on their back. So they um, like kind of flip them over their shoulder. That's not how I do it. Um, I actually have a separate YouTube video showing how I get a baby on my back. And I'll link to that so that you can see like a really up close of how I do it. Cause I'm just gonna show you real quick. But anyway, just pick up baby or in this case, big kid on the front. Spin her around. Put my arms through like a backpack. <laughs> Fasten the chest buckle here. And then she's pretty good to go. I could tighten the webbing a bit to get her a little bit higher up, but she's pretty much all set. So it's just the same putting her on my back as I would with any other carrier. I left the hood on so I could show you back carrier how I use the hood. So when I have a baby that falls asleep on my back, I'll reach back and I'll grab the hood and kind of flip it up like this to pull their, their little head up so that it's not dangling. Um, and then also you can take, hold on just a second, you can take this strap and loop it through here and it does have snaps where you can attach it on the front. So you can't really do that so much on the back unless you are like super flexible, but on the front you can just loop it around your chest strap so that the hood is attached that way. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that really quick and then to get her off, same idea here, undo the buckle and Scoot around. And there you go. All right, so 
As you can tell through this whole review, I love this carrier. I don't need to continue saying that. However, I will share with you a couple of things that are like my top favorite things or things that I love about it that I haven't already mentioned. One, it packs up nicely in a diaper bag. It's not nearly as big and bulky as most carriers. And so um, I'm able to fit it in the top of my bag. Now I, I carry a large diaper bag. So it depends on the size of bag that you carry. But, sorry, putting a passy in here but it um, definitely packs up smaller than most carriers. I also like just the look of it. Um, I wear it to, you know, I wear it around the house all the time, but I wear it to our homeschool co-op. I wear it to church and I feel like it just looks more classy and um, less like, hey, I'm this massive, ugly baby carrier thing. Um, I just love the way it looks, the gold rings and that it's slim and streamlined. You know, I used, I really, um, didn't wear um, my babies out when it was something like a little nicer of a place or an event, like say, for example, church, because I'm usually wearing a little bit of a nicer outfit. And then it felt weird to put on this like crazy, colorful, printed, bulky carrier, right? So I just didn't do it very often. But with this one, I feel like it um, just looks a little bit nicer and is not quite as loud and crazy and big and in your face. Incredibly comfortable. I wear it many hours a day, every single day. Um, it doesn't get in my way. You know, I, I'm, I've never had this hood on. I only put it on this for this video. So normally there's nothing dangling in the way. Honestly, sometimes I even forget he is attached to me because it's just so comfortable and um, not like just all up in my way all of the time. The company is really great too. Um, they offer virtual fit checks on their website. So you can like sign up and do a Zoom call. Uh, it's like a 15 minute Zoom call with, with one of their staff members and they can like look at how you have baby you know, in the carrier and give you some pointers, which I think is fantastic that they're being really helpful about that. So that's another plus. Um, my only dislike, and I've already mentioned it, is that there's not a good way to attach this hood when you're wearing your baby on your front. Does not matter to me since I never use the hood, but if I had to pick one thing I didn't like about the carrier, that would be it. So there is my review of the carrier of the Sakura Bloom Scout. I absolutely love it. Um, I would not want to wear any of my other carriers again after using this one. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you are going to purchase one, I have a $20 off coupon in the description box. So go grab that link so that you can get $20 off your purchase and save you a little money. Um, but I just hope that helped as you're making your decision. And I hope you love your carrier as much as I love mine. All right. Bye guys.